Welcome to Gears University. Today's video was supposed to be a normal tutorial, but we got a bunch of Gears 5 info dropped on us this weekend, so I felt the need to cover that. I'm going to dive deep into the video the Coalition released talking about Escalation 2.0 and see what's new with Gears 5 multiplayer. The first thing to talk about is the new weapon spawn system. We'll get into a lot more detail later, but I want to point out that the respawn timer for the weapon is now displayed. This should make it easier for players to keep an accurate timer on the weapons. Currently you have to look outside of the game to find that information, but now that information should always be front and center for the player. This is our first look at the competitive multiplayer UI. This is obviously subject to change as they continue finalizing the game, but there's a lot of interesting things to take note of. First, there is no minimap. Some players were very upset by the idea of a minimap, and hopefully this is permanently taken out. However, I could possibly see this minimap making an appearance in other more casual game modes. The other thing to notice is that there is no health bar above players' heads like there are in, es in Escape. I assumed that this was going to be taken out for PvP, but I could see this also being present for more casual modes to help ease players into the difficult Gears multiplayer. The Nasher also only has 6 shots in his clip, down from 8 in every other Gears game. This means you'll likely have to be more selective with your shots, but for the most part I don't see this being too much of a change. You can also see the game will now tell you who will win, and how long it will take. I do go back and forth on whether I like this change. On the one hand, knowing when you can hold a setup or when you need to push is something that can set good players apart from lesser skill players, but Gears isn't a math game and taking the time to make that decision isn't necessarily a fun thing to do, so I'll let you know my thoughts on this after the tech test. The basics of Escalation are still present. There are three rings and you control them to gain points. If you reach the point count or capture all three rings, then you win the round. First team to seven rounds wins. Both teams will now place a weapon between rounds instead of just the losing team. And instead of the respawn timers increasing every round, they will now decrease. This change will play into the new live system that is coming up. Each player will now start with 5 lives, and each round they will gain one more life. If you run out of lives, you won't be able to spawn until the next round. If your team has nobody on the battlefield, then you will lose the round, and at halftime you will get another 5 lives to play with. This respawn pool leads to potential rounds where you will want to not respawn after a fight in order to save lives for later rounds. This is a little less harsh than it seems when you consider that the starting respawn timer is 16 seconds. In theory, you'll be dying less early in the match than you did in Gears of War 4. This is one of the changes I am most worried about, however, as matchmaking and getting a bad teammate could severely hurt your team even more than in Gears 4. If a random teammate throws away their lives early in the match, then they'll likely be sitting out a majority of the later rounds, making it a 4v5 match. On the flip side of the coin, they might care too much about their lives and be stingy with their respawns early and leave you in a bad position that could be a win for the team, Either way, playing for your lives is going to be very important. The new weapon pick system is potentially going to be very interesting, and with a team will provide a lot of new strategic options, but playing with randoms will be a bit more of a mixed bag. So unlike in Gears 4, both teams will place a weapon each round, the weapon spawn is chosen by a team captain, and the rest of the team will vote on what to place in that spot. You can even place power weapons on your side of the map, but you will have to go through an upgrade path to get there, and once you're there, they will be limited versions of the weapon. For instance, after you upgrade from a shot grenade to a marksa to the boom shot, the boom will only have one rocket. You can then spend more weapon placements to upgrade that to have two rockets or respawn faster. The one thing that I'm not clear on at this point is whether or not weapons will reset at halftime. This will determine how much worth there is in leveling up weapons on the battlefield, and this new system could be very hit or miss for a team of randoms. If your captain is smart, then they will more regularly be able to finish their vision for what the map should look like, but if you have a bad captain, then you might be stuck with terrible weapon placements. We're going to know more about this stuff on this weekend uh, during the E-League tournament, for which will reveal a bunch of Gears 5 information. The spawns in Escalation 2.0 have a new look. There will be three players further forward, but they will not spawn with any support grenades and two players will be further back, but will spawn with either a smoke or stun grenade. This might be one of the biggest deal breakers for solo players in this game mode. I don't imagine many players being okay with spawning in the back, and if your team captain is in front, to my understanding, they will be able to select to upgrade their loadout, which could lead to some selfish moments, when maybe a weapon could be better placed on the map. Again, we'll have to see how it all plays out during the tech test. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of, of Escalation 2.0. 
The next few weeks of videos are going to be focused mostly on Gears 5 with coverage of the E-League tournament and gameplay from the tech test. I do want to squeeze in some tutorials that I've promised, but that's going to be based on how much time I have. But I'll see you in the next video.